<clears throat> okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you watch this in the replay, tell me your thoughts on perfumes. Which ones do you think are overhyped? Which uh, really want to know what do you think are underhyped? Because I love to hear about stuff that you know people aren't talking about. And what's worth the hype? So anyway, that is going to be what I'm going to discuss today. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. So we're going to talk about overhyped, underhyped, and worth the hype perfumes, fragrances that I have here. Now, I can't talk about everything, of course. Now, let me give my disclaimer. Even though I hate giving disclaimers, I really don't care about your feelings. If you get in your feelings about something about a fragrance... I'm going to need you to re-examine how you think about things in life. All right? So that's my disclaimer. Come for me about something stupid like a fragrance and we will have a conversation. Okay, then. Let's go ahead. How'd y'all think? Was that a good disclaimer? Was that a good one? I thought it was a, I thought it was an excellent disclaimer. I think that's kind of what I'm going to go for every time. Because we know that I don't believe in disclaimers. We know that I don't believe in them. We know I don't feel the need to like apologize for any of my thoughts. You don't like them? Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. All righty then. Hi, Colette. Hi, hi. So let's come, let's go on and get started. I know y'all are chit-chatting away up in that damn chat. I can just see it popping, popping. Hi, Juliana. Okay, because uh, people who know me, not the new people. Y'all know that I have a thing about the disclaimers. So I'm just, I'm, I, I, you know, but I, I, get, I gave one, okay? So let's start out. So I, first off, I got this from, her name is Sarah Mays, M-A-Y-E-S, Sarah Mays. She does really good fragrance videos. Um, <laughs> right? That's okay. Um. I'll look at it in a little bit, um, you know, so I got it from, I saw it on her channel because she did, because people always do like overhyped or underhyped things, but she put it all together and I thought that was awesome. So it's overhyped, underhyped, and worth the hype. So we're going to talk about all three, three different types of fragrances that I have tried. Not necessarily anything out there, but what I've tried, you know what I'm saying? So let's go with that. Okay, so let's start with the overhyped. Let's just get out. Let's just get the stuff out of the way that people are going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe she said that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So let me just first off. Hey, Danny. So I had to make my own test strips, right? Because uh, test strips aren't perfume test strips are not essential. So I thought about it. I said, I have white paper in the house. I have a ream of paper. Why don't I just cut some paper up? Why am I paying for these test strips? So these are the last test strips I'm paying for. I'm making my own out of paper. Because what is a test strip of paper? Okay, my bad. Okay, I just had a moment. Okay, so I'm going to go over some. We're going to talk about the overhype. So here's my first one. This is Viva La Juicy. Viva La Juicy. Juicy Couture is Viva La Juicy, La Juicy Noir. I know I have. I, I'm, I don't have any cardstock, but I am going to just buy some cardstock and cut it up from now on because that's just what it is. It's cardstock. OK, but I, I have paper, paperwork, paper. It's all papers. It's from the trees. It's terrible. OK, anyway. So this is Viva La Juicy Noir. Now, um, let's just spray this on here. So I got my, my little things right now. Let me say this. Um, Jeremy Fragrance loves this thing. And you know, you hear about a lot of people talking about men love it. I can see why they love it. It's a very sweet fragrance. It's very pretty. However, it doesn't last to hell. Okay. So that's why I think it's overhyped because now the thing is, the only good thing, um, see, that's what I'm saying. Um, the only thing I will say about it is you can get it at a good price. So it's, wor it's worth it for that because you can spray the hell out of yourself, you know, because you didn't pay that much for it. But I think that, you know, it, it, it smells like every other thing. Oh, shoot. I'm not supposed to be doing something. Hold on. Let me put this on here. Bear with me, y'all. I have a new tripod. 
Um, my just broke today. Luckily, I had bought a new one, and this one is a serious one. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work. <clears throat> so it, it it's nothing groundbreaking. It kind of gets soapy on the skin. You will need to spray this a lot. So it's like meh. I wouldn't. I would like meh. <clears throat> no, thank you. Some of these I'm gonna get y'all with. Some people gonna be watching this like, and they gonna clutch their pearls and horror that I'm gonna say some things about some of the stuff that they think is just fabulous. All right. Hmm. So that was one. This is another one. This is La Vie Belle by Lancome. Now I like Lancome. And let me say this, La Vie Belle is not a bad scent. It's just over hyped. Everybody talks about this damn scent. Ad nauseum. It's a good scent. Don't get me wrong. It's strong as hell. You wear this, you will be smell. Everybody will smell it. But let me just tell you this: you're gonna smell like everybody else on the face of the planet. Hey, Karen, because La Via Bell is like one of the most um, popular fragrances in the world. So yes. Um, hi, Melissa. Right, I saw that. Yeah, it's a beautiful scent. But it's just way overdone. So that's why I say it's overhyped. Because yes, it is gorgeous. But I swear to you, you'll smell like you'll, you'll smell like 10 women in the room. So I am I am an advocate. Don't smell like everybody. You know, there's too much scent out here for you to have, to smell like everybody. And for everybody to act like everybody has to have La Via Belle. Everybody doesn't have to have this. It's a nice scent. Don't get me wrong. I like it. But damn it, you, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No, no. To La Via Bell. So if you're looking to get something, you're like, ooh, I want you I don't care. I don't care if you go in there and you smell it and say, Oh, it smells so good. I know it does, but you're gonna smell like every other person on the face of the planet. So no to La Via Bell. All right, next up is this one. This is Dolce. Hi, Jim. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. Okay. Now, Light Blue is just on everybody's spring summer list. I mean, when you watch it, if you watch spring collections, if you watch summer collections on YouTube, on the tube, everybody, every woman, everyone said Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. And they say it's watermelon, it's all this other stuff. And let me tell you, I got this stuff years ago, like while I was still with the demon, it's been at least 15 years since I bought this stuff. Um, I don't know what about it, but it does not smell that good on me. It's, it, it, it no, it, and I know people be like, oh, it's just this, now it is this, you know, um, it's a very citrusy, it's supposed to be got watermelon, I still only smell the watermelon in it. But it's like, it is a very summer vibe. You know, when you smell it, it does, it does smell like summer. However, I have me nor Bianca, we both tried it. It was terrible on our skin. Now, I don't know, it may smell beautiful on other people, but I swear to you, this is, I am so not, I'm not a light blue person. So it's like, and it's just too much lemon. It's just too citrus for me. I don't like this much citrus. Citrus, you know, is a clean vibe and everything, which is clean, true because I love me a lemon scent in my house, but it just doesn't do anything for me. And, you know, and it does not last. You know, light blue does not last. Now, they say light blue intense lasts. So if you really like the scent, try for light blue intense. But this is like, this fades away really quickly. Really, really quickly. All right. Next up on the list of overhyped. Got, got three. No, it doesn't last. I think Melissa, hey, Melissa. Okay, I don't ha have this one open, but I've tried it, a, you know, a million times. Um, right, right. Okay. I'm sure on other people it smells wonderful, but on me, it's just not worth the hype. Okay, Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. Now, this is an, a newer sample because, you know, the thing is, when you get fragrance samples, you always get Flower Bomb. Okay, I can see that with the with the I have some of the um 
you know what? I have a little thing of this lotion. I might have to try that. I might have to try that. Okay, so this is Flower Bomb by Victor and Ross. Now, there's nothing wrong with the scent. It's another one of those overdone. It's very um, kind of reminiscent of La Via Belle. They're very similar. I don't know which one came out first, but they come, they're kind of in that gourmandy, florally, sweety kind of vibe. But I like the flankers of Flower Bomb better than the original because this is like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I mean, it, um, it's okay. Um, I know it's very popular and it does smell good on a lot of people, but it's just another one of those. You're going to smell yourself coming and going. And it's just, uh, it's kind of a nice, nice, basic, generic -y kind of smell. They, you know, they didn't push it too far, but when it came out, let me say this, when Flower Bomb came out, it was hot. I, I ain't going to sit up here and lie. I ain't going to sit up here and lie. So flower bomb right there and that, i'm just saying i think it's just overhyped i think there's other things that you can get now so you know you're not stuck with these things that people always talk about oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god now these last two people gonna get in their feelings about i know i'm telling y'all this now people gonna get in their feelings about so let me go on and say these two because i i saved these for last because I knew this was going to be problematic for people, and I love to be problematic. This is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. I am so not impressed with this fragrance. I, uh, what was it before? La Via Belle, um, Juicy Couture Noir. Viva la Juicy Noir. Okay. I don't get the hype of Good Girl. It's a basic, gourmandy, floral kind of smell. And I, and people have said this before, and I have to agree. I think the marketing and the packaging is what sells Good Girl. Because the, the packaging is hot as hell. I mean, I love the little high heel. I think it's so cute and everything. I think it's like really lovely. But the scent, yeah, it's all about the packaging. Because I promise you, I bet you if they had not put this in that high heel, this this would not be that popular. This would not be that popular if for that damn high heel. Because it's okay. I mean, it's like, and Melissa, and that's initially what made me want it. Because when I first saw it, when it first came out and I saw that high heel, I said, damn, that shit is cute as hell. But then I've worn it. <laughs> but then I wore it and I put it on and I was like, eh? Eh? I mean, it's very, it's, it's you know, it's okay. It's a, it's a decent fragrance. It's not bad. Nothing's wrong with it. But I'm like, eh, 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 okay. Now, it said it has Good Girl by the House of Carolina Herrera. Now, this one, people are really going to clutch their pearls on this one. Because this house is so popular. Okay. All right, Melissa, you do that. Thank you. Hi, V. Okay. So this one right here, this is so hyped. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. This stuff smells like medicine to me. It smells like medicine.
I don't get the hype at all. I've never gotten hype of Black Orchid. I, it's just, it smells like medicine and it smells like some 70s candy. Oh, it's terrible. And even on the card, it don't smell good to me. I know people be like, I mean, people gush over Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Let's just be honest. They gush over anything Tom Ford makes. And um, it's like Tom Ford can do no wrong. This smell, you know what it smells like to me? It smells like, you know what it smells like to me? Oh, I figured it out. Baby aspirin. It smells like, what was it? St. Joseph's baby aspirin. That's what it smells like to me. I just don't get the hype at all. It stinks to me. I'm like, y'all can have that mess. Y'all can have that mess right there. Well, that's really, oh, but see, here's the thing. Everybody, it smells different because on me, it smells like baby aspirin. So it's so interesting because that's the, that's the beauty of life and everything, even with beauty, with makeup, with perfumes, everybody is different. Now, the other thing is, I think that it is overhyped. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think, I don't think most of the time fours are worth the money that people pay for them. I think they're good fragrances. I just don't think they're worth the money. Even though this is the lower end of time four, so it's not as bad. You can get a good, a decent deal on it. I just think that, you know, every, they be acting like Tom Ford can do no wrong. Can do no wrong. Except this last fragrance he came out with Rose Prick. Um, right, okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. But you know, Hey, get him some name like you know that if he likes it, that's your get your money. Okay, so let's talk about that though, Melissa. If he likes it, that's a get your money fragrance for you. Say it. Say it. All right, so let's go into some under hyped things that I have that I feel like should be hyped up a little more, not to that huge extent. But do deserve credit. You don't hear about them. People don't talk about them. Because honestly, um, if you watch perfumes, it's just like watching makeup. Like when you watch a lot of perfume stuff, you will see the same things over and over again. You know, and it and it's just the truth of it. You know, you like you can click on and be like, oh no, they, they talking about that. Oh, they talking about that. It's like, and I get it because, you know, but with the huge amount of perfume out there. There, there should be something, you know, you should be able to find some <clears throat> that, because don't get me wrong, I got some hyped up shit that's over here that's worth the hype, you know, that I heard about, you know, through the fragrance community, but I'm going to talk about the really, really hyped up stuff and the stuff that's just not, that's under hyped, like a mug, right? Hey, Tammy. So let's talk about a few. I got a whole bunch of under hype though. I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, this is under hype. This is under hype. So let's start here. We're going to talk about the Givenchy Dahlia de Vin line. This does not get any hype at all. I don't hear anybody talking about it. Um, this is La Nectar and this is Nude. These are such pretty spring fragrances, spring and summer fragrances. Nectar is very summery. You know, it's got that mimosa burst. It's very bright and beautiful. And just really gorgeous for the summertime. And then nude is just a little lighter weight. Hey, Coco. Nude is just a little lighter weight. You know, just so. And I like them because they do have, a, a, you know, they do have the Dahlia DNA. But they did give them a little bit different vibe. I'm just so proud of myself with my little, my little tester strips. Let's do this. So like Coco, I mean like like cocoa nude is lighter and you know where we're we're the nectar hi joss how are you if y'all don't watch her joss is one of my new um like perfume obsession people um so this is such a pretty light fragrance and people just don't talk about the the, the dahlia demands i love these these are so gorgeous on the skin i well this is pre-birthday Oh, I forgot to say that. <clears throat> if you have not looked on my community page, 
I am having a virtual, I'm having a Zoom birthday party tomorrow. If you want the information, go ahead and con send me a little message and we will get together. We're going to get together. Okay, next up. Next up, next up. Now, we always hear about opium. Is it opium? YSL? Yes. YSL. So, opium, and then we hear about Mon Paris. But I keep telling y'all, this is going out. I think they've discontinued it. This is Parisian by YSL. She said, I, like I said, I happened to see it and I was like, oh, she looks a little cute to me. Oh, she looks a little lovely. Oh, and it's such a pretty berry. It's like, you know, it's just got this little berryness to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you do. You can't do it on your phone. Zoom is on your phone because I do it for my phone too. But it's so pretty. It's so, it's not like this nice little airy, airy fairy <laughs> uh, fragrance for the spring and summertime. And like I said, I think they've discontinued these. But it's such a pretty fragrance. It's kind of like in between Mon Perry and Paris. It's like their little cousin in between. Um, like I said, it's it's lighter, but it's in the same family. So Mon Perry, Paris, because you know Paris was the beginning. Parisian is like right between those two. So it's kind of in that vibe. It's got a little floor. It's got florals in it. It's got a very buried. It's got a very buried beginning. Um, Oh yeah. Okay, that's true. That's true. So yeah, so Parisian. So this is, you know, try to grab it because it will be gone soon. It will be gone soon. It will be gone soon. All right. Now, let's talk about oh, I'm looking right here first and then I'm going to keep moving down. Yeah, we got to be cute for the party. I might have to do a, a pre-birthday party live to get my face together for it. <laughs> now, uh, oh, yeah, I've been in a lot of trouble lately. I've been in a lot of trouble lately. I mean, I, I'm not even going to talk about it. So now, we know that I love the Maison Lancome line. I'm going to talk about the one that's hyped, but y'all know, for me, for me, the most underhyped one are my roses now. We know. Okay, could y'all all say it with, with me together? Roses Berberanza. I know Michelle is not feeling my Roses Berberanza. But this baby, baby, blame it on the Rona. When I show y'all my haul, the haul got out of control. Hey Joshua, this is one of the most underhyped. You know, everybody talks about a certain certain two of the Ubu K Jasmine Marzipan, but this gets no hype. She gets no love. Roses Barbara gets no love, and this is my pistachio candy rose, jammy rose love. Oh, ladies, Minty, okay. So you do like her, okay? Okay, I just want to make sure because I didn't think you liked her. And I was like, she don't like my boo. But that's all right. Ooh, that Brogy doesn't get any love either. I have a decant of her. I'm still deciding if I like her, though, Joss, because the honey is really intense on that one. But, ooh, Roses by Veronica is just so beautiful. It's just this beautiful pistachio vibe in it. It's so sweet. It's such a candy sweet one. I just absolutely, oh no, 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 yeah, no. But I, you know what I said? Well, no, nah, never mind. I'm just that person. I'd be like, okay. So that one absolutely gets no love in the community. What do I talk about her? They always talk about, ooh, okay. And don't get me wrong, I like her. I, um, oh, ooh, honey, this isn't office friendly either. I mean, it is, to, well, to, never mind. To me, it will be. I love Roses Greedy. It probably does smell like Chloe Roses. I haven't smelled Chloe Roses, but yes. Oh. 
Uh, I don't know if I sent her tuberoses. Did I send you tuberoses? I don't think I sent it. Did I? I didn't think she was going to like tuberoses, Castane. I wasn't sure. But if you want it, Michelle, I'll send it to you the next batch. I'll put that on your list. Um. <laughs> Jazz, send me a message. I get, I send you some. Now, let's just talk about a few of these two. Now, this one actually isn't. This isn't. Um, Wish by Chopard. Y'all know I let us send now. We're not even going to go down the notes. Oh, by the way, we can't go through the notes. <sighs> Okay, so you know when we'll email mail each other, we'll do a little swap and then we could, you know, talk about it on our channels. Yes, let's do a swap. That'll be fun. We'll send a little samples and everything. Okay. So let me just tell y'all what's happened before I even get into this. Now, Michelle has seen what I had created. Um, but I have I had created a perfume database for myself, which is like one sheet has perfume notes. One has the perfume group it's in, one has the accords. So I can like look through things, you know. So if I want to look up something, I just get on my little database and it had notes, right? And I put all these notes in and I have check boxes so I could check them off. And it allowed me to say, okay, what has rose in it? Let me see what has rose in it. So I was doing it. Um for my what's DB me? Um so Um, the perfume notes section, because it's on Google Docs, um, that whole sheet disappeared. I don't know how the fuck it disappeared. 90. Oh, my database. Oh, thank y'all, because I was all confused. I was using Google Docs because that way I can look at it all over different platforms. Like if I'm at work, I can look at it on my. Uh... So 90 fragrances. All of that's gone. All of that work is gone. It's all gone. Now, luckily, the the groupings and the accords sheets are okay. So what I'm going to do is, you know, just copy and paste the whole list of fragrances. Thank God. And then I'm going to, you know, open up a new... Um, okay, I'll check that out too. Um, and so all my notes are gone. To say that because I could have known. So anyway, so now I have to recreate that whole thing, which is cool because I was like able to look for things. Like I was starting to say, okay, what does ha what has coconut in it? What has caramel in it? What has you know? I was looking. I, that's how I did the rose one because it's like, oh, let me see which one's got rose in it. And now I have to redo that whole thing. But okay, I, it's gonna be bigger and better. It did, but it um it did, but it was I hadn't really started I hadn't really done the notes yet, so I had it started it, but now it's kind of gonna be okay because it was a little haphazard the last one, so I'm gonna make it better. <sighs> so, so anyway, wish. Now, wish is very hard to explain. This is by Chopard. It has. It has 102 notes in it. Uh, okay, I'm joking. Is I'm exaggerating, but it does have a hell of a lot of notes in it. But for some reason, it works. It smells lovely. Um, it does. Uh, it, it, you know, it's like I can see the smelling different on everybody, but still smelling lovely. Because it has like this floral notes. It has the, the sweetness to it. It has a little creaminess. It's got sandalwood. It's got patchouli. It's got everything in it. It has everything in it. But it kind of works. It does dry down a little powdery, but not too powdery. Because I like a little powdery, but I, it's like a powdery, musky. All this stuff. It's got everything. It's going. It's got it all. The only thing it ain't got is oud. That's the only thing it ain't fucking got is oud. <laughs> From. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. Now, this is another one that is so underhyped. No one's talking about these. Um, right. It, 
Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it feels like because they just like threw it all. Let's just put it all in. This is English Laundry Osprey Blue Film. Now I'm looking for the rest of these at Marshalls when they open up because this is twelve ninety nine. And it's a little more expensive. It's too much on, on Fergus now. But these, this is such a lovely scent. The thing is, you can't even find the, this one online um, on Fragrantica. It is so pretty. It's just a really pretty spring fragrance. You know, if I like to have things that you can just throw on. You know, there are certain things that you ain't going to throw on because it costs too damn much and everything. But this is a light, breezy kind of classic kind of vibe to it definitely a day fragrance you know i still gotta do my um my signature collection i gotta write them all down stunting on these holes get the coins dinner and dessert fragrance oh mm -mm -mm. it's got this it's one of those sweet florally fragrances so it's like a floral fruity Hi, lovely moon. You're new. Yes, honey. I am waiting for them to open up. Because oh, they're going to have they gonna have to like clearance out the whole stuff. Yes. So this is a floral fruity. And, it, and they do it really well. It's not something groundbreaking. But if you want to have like a, you know, a cute little fragrance just to run out the, out the door with, you know, where you can just spray it on. It's not a big deal. You can just carry it. Well, I wouldn't carry this big ass brick with me. But you can have a little decant of it to spray during the day. This is such a pretty little fragrance for that kind of stuff. And I really do love those type of things. Oh, let me have me some water. Mm, 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 mm. Now let me head over here and get some more of our underhyped stuff. Now, y'all know, let me get, let, we going into my, we going into my, my shit right over here. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so we just gonna go into a couple of them. I got a cup, I got a couple of things too. Okay. This right here. Now, y'all, for the people who have been here, y'all know this is one of my most favorite fragrances is um, Rosace's Jasmine Wisp. This is Lo Lo Yo Loquium Jasmine Wisp. I think they said this is similar to Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford, but much cheaper. And I personally love the, the packaging because I know I don't have the package out here now, but you know, it comes in a, in a beautiful wood box for presentation. If you, if you present in your boxes, oh, it's gorgeous. But anyway, this is the most exotic. You like it? Yes. I, thank you, Elise. This, it just feels exotic. No one... The, like literally I only found two people who had talked about this because I looked it up before I bought it I was like okay I need to hear about this company but they're out of um UAE I think they're either out of Dubai or the UAE and this is just the most this is just feels exotic it just feels like you know I should be on a tropical island y'all know how I feel about this one I, I don't even need to if you've been on any of my fragrance ones you know you know how I feel about jasmine wisp jasmine this now like i said time for girl the outer packaging is stunning i mean because this is a cute little bottle the bottle does is nothing by comparison to the, the actual i'm just saying okay now this one right here my saffron rose this is my favorite in Scentsy rose and it's very similar to Cafe Rose by Tom Ford, but better because I've had them both. And I, um, Jasmine Wisp is definitely, okay, here's, um, oh, I got the box, honey. Um, Jasmine Wisp, I would say, because it feels very tropical, this would be a nighttime summer fragrance, date night fragrance. That's the only time you put it on, but be very sparing with it because it is loud and bold. However, this is beautiful in the fall and then, you know, like now the cooler weather spring. I would still wear it now because it's still cold, cool outside because baby, this projects. Baby, she don't play. She don't play. 
but she's such a but this is definitely like a date night you know get okay i'm gonna try to be good because we know i'm terrible but saffron rose hi kitty kitty cat number one um this is my favorite incense rose um date night summer um uh, and this one is i find i like it because it's one of my few roses that don't have any vanilla and it has no sweetness in it it's a spicy incense rose and that's kind of hard to come by because usually there's some tonka bean there's a little vanilla there's something to sweeten it up where this does not have any of that the oon is not that prominent so if you're not a huge ooh person, that's even better. But it's just an incense rose. Oh, and it's just it's just a spicy rose. And like I said, this this would smell beautiful on men or women. I just think this would um right. I like my rose sugar dipped, but I like having one that isn't sugar dipped just for a little variety. And this is my variety rose. Um do you have the vanilla one? Because I've been wanting that one, Joss. Or the vetiver one. Because there's the, the rose, the vanilla, and the vetiver. Those are the three. But this one. And but and this and that's why I said this is like this is one of the things, and we know I'm not super unisex, but this is a super, this is a very unisex fragrance to me that could smell so good on any or either a male or a female. And like I said I, I'm gonna make DJ put this on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make him brand and put it on just so we can see. But yes, so if you know, and this, I think they've stopped making these, I think they've discontinued them. But this is such if you like a spicy rose, if you want to do an incense rose, I ain't gonna tell them it's a woman's fragrance because if you, I do, DJ be like, no, nah, I ain't putting that on. Oh, I'm a man's bit. You know how he is, y'all. DJ is a mess. <laughs> He'll make you go, okay, DJ. That's my boy though. That's my boy. Okay. And so for the um and for the sugar sweetness. For the right, I'm gonna have to say something like that. For the sugar sweetness. This is the Nina Rishi. What is this one called? This is uh La Rose Absolute La Ecstasy. Okay, the vetiver. Um, this is Nina Rishi. La Ecstasy La Rose Absolute. This is one of the best candy roses you will ever get. People don't really talk about this. They're really sleeping on it. Oh, oh. This is this is sugar dipped roses. Oh my goodness. This is sugar, and it's so inexpensive, y'all. This is sugar dipped roses. It will have you smelling like you will smell like candy. You will smell like rose candy. You know, he just right there. He's gonna be right there. Put put it right here because he's just gonna want to snuggle in your neck right there, right there with this. Mm. This is so so. Yes, and and this is using a Taif rose. So right, this is a very deep dark rose these are this is you know i have springy roses but this is a deep dark rose this is using taif rose which is a, a a middle eastern rose so this is a different type of rose and this is a kirchion so um i'm look i'm trying to get some more mason Kir some francis kirchion that ain't mason kirchion because his his house is a little expensive for me <laughs> but this love baby lovely yeah, so this is Nina Ricci, La Ecstasy, La Rose Absolute. Babe, yes, honey. This is this is a hypnotic one. This is this definitely will hypnotize somebody. With this on, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't be don't be surprised if you know if they can't see nothing real. Hey, hey, you hear me? Okay. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop there with under height because you know I'm not. Out. Yeah, that's that's it for my under height ones. I'm gonna keep y'all right there because I got some. I got some that are worth the hype. That I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I heard about them and I was like, 
what? And then I got them. I was like, damn. Okay, so that I'm I'm just gonna be real. And a lot of some of these, of course, are based on me being out in the fragrance community and hearing people talk about them all the time and stuff. Uh, Joss, you need this in your life. Send you a little sample so you can try it out. Oh, she's, I, I, I'm sorry. Every time I, I I take her in, I get, I get, um, how'd you, right. At least you did say you got that. And so after you tried it, oh, she's awesome. Okay. So I've been behind my, um, drinking on my water. So I'm trying to drink. Okay. So now you got some classic ones that are worth the hype all day long. I'm not even going to pull it out, but let's just start it off. And let's just talk about her, Dior Addict. Dior Addict is worth every bit of hype she gets. Dior Addict is worth every bit of hype she gets. She's sexy. She's bold. She stands out. She's a little black dress of, Dior Addict is a little black dress of perfume. You know, you, you can't go wrong with Dior Addict. You cannot go wrong with Dior Addict. Don't worry, I have mimosas earlier today. It's a classic. It's worth every piece of hype it gets. It really is. I mean, I, I can't take I can't take nothing away from Dior hype. I cannot take away from the attic hype. She she deserves it all. She's a beautiful bottle. She's she's just she's a little black dress of you know sexy fragrances. She is. Just really is. Let's go. I'm just gonna put it out there. She is. Okay, but now let me go into some things that I've heard that I've been into because of things that I've seen, things that I've bought. I know Michelle stands for her some added honey, honey. Okay. So let me give y'all this one first. This is this is worth the hype. This is um, on one of those YouTube um, fragrance community kind of vibes. This is Armand's Club de Nuit Intense for Women. They have it for men. They got a bunch of uh, fragrances for women, for men. Armoff is a clone company. This supposedly, now I don't have it. This is a, 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 a dupe of Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. Hey, Bridget, and I got to say, this would be one of the Tom Fords that I would wear because this baby is so damn sexy. This is another sexy rose. This is very rose, but this is this is incense vanilla. So this takes so it has a vibe. It's kind of like in between the ecstasy and saffron rose. So it kind of has all kind of like a lot of that together. So this is like a, a incense vanilla candied rose vibe. And it damn it, damn it, Janet. Bit, she smells good. The heifa smells good. And it is intense. Um, you can't wear a lot of this. This is winter date night. Dead of winter. You gotta be cold outside. And if you're gonna wear it anytime where it's a little bit warmer, be very sparing with it. But it is so gorgeous on. It's like I said, it's this incensey. Mm. She's an incensey sweet candied rose so she is spicy it's a spice it's got saffron in it you know it's got that ooh, yes, child, yes, 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 yes yes child yes that's all i got yes 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 i'm trying to make some space for myself i hate the only thing is when i do these things and i start pulling out shit it's like oh, now i gotta put it all back and it's like a puzzle. Is it just me? But like where you keep your things like this, it's a puzzle going on. So I got a puzzle over here. Now I got to pull this out. I got to take this out. I got to pull this out. I got to put it back. Put, eh, 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 eh. Okay. So anyway, that is worth every bit of hype. Let me just, every bit of hype it gets. Now, this was the one that got me put on Maison Lancome. This is the one. Oud bouquet. This baby right here is the one that got me hooked on Maison Lancome. I kept hearing about this. I kept hearing about this. I kept hearing about this. And then I found this on um, I found this 
on fragrance net at a good price now this is the original one they no longer this is the original formulation not the the newer one i said i want to try the newer one just to see how it smells but this is the original formulation and let me tell you this is a it's it's ooh but it's not it's not that it, it, it's a ooh for girly girls ooh bouquet is like you know it's it's praline it's vanilla oh, it's got the oud in it it's got the rose in it. it doesn't have a lot of notes in it but man together they make a really beautiful fragrance and so oud bouquet is one of those things that it was it is truly worth the hype and once i tried this it was like okay well i'm gonna have to get some more of these meso lancomes and i gotta be honest hi natasha i have not been disappointed so far with all the ones that i have gotten from them but this was the one that started me on them and i was like oh every time i find one okay i'm gonna have to get it and there's a couple i might have to pay full price for which is hurting my heart but mm, this right here baby baby she's gorgeous she's gorgeous yeah because this is you see this is the smaller one these came in um the 75 mils yeah this is 75 mils um and so love it i probably will at some point now nah, i don't need if i ever get oh i'm down to here on here um i have the tuberose one tuberose castain i have it love it yes it's here um I, so yes, I do love the tuberose. I have tuberose castain. I have parfait de roses. I have l'autre oud. And I have a new one, which will be in my latest Corona haul. Let me tell y'all something. This saying that shelter in place has been bad for my budget. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, Mancera is in the first community. People like Mancera. There's certain ones that people always talk about. Yeah, um, have talked about. And then I kept hearing about this one, and it's Roses Greedy. Okay, Roses Me love the roses. Y'all know I love the roses. So I had it. So I was like, okay, and I found it at a good price. And she is love this is such a beautiful floral you know it's just an airy sparkling we knew didn't we didn't we say they was gonna have sales we knew the sales were coming because they had no choice they're gonna have the, the sales anyway this is a fresh flowery just airy beautiful rose it has sweetness to it Hey, Kiana. Um, it has a sweetness to it, but um, it's it's just it, right. It's dreamy. It's just one of those fragrances where you're like, oh my goodness, this is what I'm using. Yes, child. Yes, this is what you're getting. Yeah, and it's just this beautiful rose. And this is like, it's not a candy rose. It's It's almost a classical rose. Um, baby, you ain't nothing lie, Joshua. It's almost a classical rose, but a more um, it has a modernness to it. So it's not so it's not old fashioned, but it's classic. And so this is this is my rose for the summertime. This is this is a rose for the summertime. This is a rose for the summertime. Now, this one right here, she was everything they said she was. And I know she gets a bad rap in the, in the, in the first community. People love her, hate her. They talk about her. No, no, she's not on that. It's not that great. But to me, this is my bae. Delina. I'm just here to tell y'all that Delina 
is gorgeous. It is. <laughs> the reason why I think it's so beautiful um, is that it just makes you feel. It's just it's such a different twist on a floral with the lychee with the rhubarb and i know that's kind of being done now but it's done so well i love that sour sweet vibe i love that sourness i thought i put it in there hold up let me look at my list for you i'm sorry michelle i thought i put it in there oh you'll be getting it I'm sorry, Michelle. I thought that was I get sent it to you. I thought I sent it. Man, I don't know. I was sleeping. Because I did send it. Because Coco, you got it. Because you and Coco got almost the same things. I thought I put the Delina in there. But it's a sour, it's a sourness to it. And something about that sourness just hits my hits it. And oh, I know where the rhubarb. Um, so it just gives it this like beautiful. Floor, it's a beautiful rose with the sourness. And I don't know why it worked because really I didn't think I would like a rhubarb scent, but the rhubarb is kicking it, man. It's kicking it. Mm. No, I thought I put her in there. I must girl must be floating around here someplace. You know I would have sent it to you. I'm a ship. Okay, so. I have one more that's worth the hype. Now let me go roll and get her because she just got here. I'll be right back. Hold on. So this one, she just came in the door this weekend. She just came in the door this weekend. Now, remember I was having issues with Alien? I tried, um, I tried her and then I found out, okay, I kind of like you now. So me and Alien have gotten together. I just had to roll over there to get something. Me, me, and we, me and Alien have become friends now. You know, we're not the best of friends, but we girlfriends now. So, I've been hearing about this flaker of Alien. Yeah, me and her are girlfriends now. We like each other. We, we've made up. I've been hearing about this flaker of Alien. And I was like, hmm, do I need this in my life? And I happened to be on Fragrance Buy, which is this Canadian. And I was like, oh, okay. So I've been hearing about it. I gave Alien a try. We become girl. We become friends. We girlfriends now. You know, we talk. We 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 made up. We 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 solid now. You know, we did the elbow because you know we can't hug now. So we gave. I gave. She gave me the elbow, and I gave her my elbow. You know. Okay, but I have been hearing about this. No, they do not. They just no 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 for taxes. Yeah, that honey, we could Uber eats it. This is. No, it's no taxes on it. It's just the shipping. Um, this is Alien Essence Absolute. Now I've been hearing about this and everybody was like, oh my God, oh my God. Now this is discontinued. And so it's hard to get, but I happen to find it on Fragrance Buy. She is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I just got it on a, I want to say I picked it up Friday. Now let me tell you how beautiful she is. 
I had this, which is a refillable, and I found a two ounce refill bottle on eBay that is on its way to me right now. That's how much I was like, oh, bitch, this is not going to be enough. This, you cute and everything. You cute. Because this is pretty much the only size you can find. And, then, and on fragrancebuy.ca, this is the best price for it. You know, even with shipping it over, and since I only bought this, was still not as bad as if I tried to buy it here. But then I found the two ounce refillable to fill this baby up. So she's going to be in my life for a while. Yay, 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 So anyway, it is this beautiful vanilla jasmine. And you know, of course, oh, <gasps> tuberose and Layla. Oh my God. Oh my God. That sounds beautiful. Oh, it is. It is. Once I get the uh, two ounce, I can send you some. Um, Cause if I had just had this, you was never gonna get none. Let me just tell you, if I all I had was this, y'all could have looked at this baby right here and just been like, "Ooh, that looks so pretty." Cause you'd have never got some. Now I got two ounces coming. I got sixty mils more, so I can I can be generous. I can give I can a little generous, a tad generous. But oh, this is so sexy. It is so sexy and dark. Oh, she is beautiful i swear to you i mean it's just I, I sprayed it on and i was like bitch you need some more of this and it's that it does have that alien vibe because the jasmine is really strong but the amber the vanilla oh hmm hmm i promise you i see i i the, the hype is real and the hype is warranted and that's when you want to get something was in the when the hype is real and the hype is on. I mean, yes, 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 yes. Oh, child. The hype is real and the hype is warranted. Now, for real, this was like 60 something dollars shipping it over here, just so you know. The 30, ounce, the 30 mil was like about 60 something dollars shipping it here. Wasn't bad at all. Hi, Lala. So I'm just. I mean, the hype is real. Fragrancebuy.ca. This is in Canada. Now. I said the next time I order from Fragrance Buy, it's going to be one of those. Bitch, you got some money. And I'm buying five bottles. Because if you buy five bottles, they give you free shipping to the to the States. But I didn't have money for five things. But I said, bitch, you better get this before this goes out of stock. I'm surprised it's still sitting there. Because I'm telling you, this is like super popular. This is super sought after. And I was like, bitch, you better get this now. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. Now. Starbucks is a commodity. Let's just talk about a few things about the Rona. Let's just have our little Rona chat today. Things that you find with this whole situation. Let me tell you, getting Starbucks is hard as hell. Um, only the ones with pickups. Now, there's one that has a pickup dri a drive through at, right by my house. So that's the only one open, right? Uh, the shipping, uh -uh, the shipping one more than a bottle? The shipping is $14.95. The bottle was $50. And it was worth it. I'm just here to say it. I have no regrets. And y'all know I don't like to pay for shipping that much. But I have no regrets on that $14.95. I'm all, I'm Gucci with it. I am Gucci. And I'd do it again. No, no. To all, in total, it was $60. Mm-mm. No, um, in total, it was $60. It was 50 something for this. No, 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 no. I was saying in total, it was 50 for the bottle and $14.95 for shipping. So one of being 60. No, 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 no. Hell no. Okay, no, I would have never paid $60 for no damn shipping. Uh uh. But I but norm okay, because see, normally the way they work is like if you buy five bottles, um, right. 
So, um, we were able to get it today because usually that drive through is ridiculous. The drive through is ridiculous. So I'll mess with the drive. You know, we haven't gotten it, but we so just so happened we were able to get some today. Because, girl, nah, you, Miss Lissa, you know me better than that. I'd have been like, I want you, girl, but no, no. So let me just so let's talk about a few things that are coming up scent wise. Because I've been trying to hold back on telling y'all, but okay, I guess I can't do my fragrance haul for March because it still hasn't he gotten here. Uh, fragrance net is playing with my emotions right now. Right. Yeah, I think that's all over, Josh. They've closed them all except for the drive through ones um, because here it's the same thing. So the, my, the one down the street from me has a drive through Yeah, the Rona shipping is like killing me right now. It's killing me. Listen, it's so deep. I got on a live chat with Fragrance Net. I was like, yo, what's up with my packages, y'all? Y'all y'all playing with my emotions now. Where my packages at? Where are my packages? And I get it. Rona shipping is super slow. I get it. I get it. I get it. I mean, like, let me tell you. <laughs> the other thing that I've been on, uh, and you'll, you'll, you all will see, um, I kind of went crazy when I do my, I'm going to do my haul. I think I'll do my, I'm going to try to do my beauty haul once my last two shipments from 21 Days of Beauty come. Because I did buy a couple of things these last couple of days. So I said I might as well just do them all together. So I'll do the beauty one one day and then I'm going to have to do fragrances another day because the fragrance one is out of control. The fragrance one is out of control, y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. Ulta's been on it now. Because my first shipment was slow. Um, yeah, you can get it through Uber Eats. Yeah. Yeah, you can get it through Uber Eats. But they got, they got, you got to go through the pickup ones. So, I... Um, so, how are we all faring through this time? I had a moment. Remember, I had my moment last Monday, but I feel better. I start. I was actually starting to get a cold too. Cold is okay. Listen, but let's just be honest. When you feel that cold coming on right now, do you not be praying? Please don't let it be the Rona. I was in here like, please don't let me have the Rona. Please don't let me have the Rona. Please don't let me have the Rona. No Rona. <gasps> I have, I've been hearing that people are sleeping a lot. My sleep is all over the place, but it always is all over the place. So I can't even say that. I forgot to give y'all one under height. Let me, let me just go back. I forgot this one to say that was under, under height that needs to be height. Y'all know what I'm about to pull out. My I'm a watch honor. How could I forget you, boo? How can I not talk about you? Anything about hyped up, over hyped, not hyped enough. I forgot about her, baby. Listen, you see what I'm saying? As soon as I was feeling, oh my God, do I have the Rona? I was freaking out. You know, so I was like, I have to. So once it started breaking real quick, I was like, okay, this isn't Rona. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. I don't know how I forgot to talk about this. She is my love bug. Why everybody's here? Let me not forget. Tomorrow, my birthday. We're gonna. I'm doing a Zoom. I'm doing a Zoom. I, I hope she does, cause you know I talked about Alien, and we just got to be friends. You know, and, I, and how I gonna leave Honor out? And I talk about Alien, and we just got to be cool and shit. And she been with she. So anyway, if you haven't heard, this is money. This ain't this ain't playing with money. This ain't no. This ain't nouveau riche. This is classic money. This is country club money. This is this is bitch got money fragrance. This is when you try when you walking through the crowd like bitch. I know what what. This is this is the kind of fragrance that you don't even have to wear designer with, but people will smell it on you and know you got money. This is trust fund money fragrance. Okay. 
she's a beautiful wife, Floral. She has tuberose. She has um, all this. She's pretty much got almost every wife fragrance and uh, flower. She's got tuberose. She's got jasmine. She's just, she's just a white, white, beautiful white floral. It's beautiful for the spring and summer. I am going to be semi-bathing myself because she is a little expensive. She will be semi-bathing myself. This is when you are going out with somebody and you letting them know. Um, I am supposed to be taken care of. I am not your five dollar chicken Popeyes chicken Popeyes chicken wing box five dollar chicken box. However it goes, I am not that girl. I am not that girl. Don't come to me with that. You better come with a Godiva. Don't come with me with some red roses you got off the side of the street. I do need a bag of bottles. If I can find another another bottle of her at the price I pay for this one, I will be getting another one. <sighs> no McDonald's, none of that. You taking me out and I'm putting this on. I need to be, I need to be on a rooftop in the summer looking over. I love them when I pay for them. I need to be on a rooftop. I need to be in a rooftop bar, little having me a sexy little martini with you, and they're bringing us little small plates. And by the time we're done, how did we spend two or three hundred dollars here? How did that happen? Cause of honor. Okay, that's her. That's who she is. That's who she is. Um, no, I don't think the Swiss Towers have a rooftop bar. Um, the Hancock has a rooftop bar. The Hancock has the 95th. Um, I like, there's a, quite a few hotels here that have them, like very high end hotels. Um, the Wit has one, all of them have them. But that is honor. Everybody ain't getting on. Let me say to you, the honor is. You got to be special for me to go out on a date with you and honor on. You you about to, you my boo. You my boo. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, I can still smell this damn essence absolute. Oh. Oh, Jesus, she's so good. Oh, my God. She is so good. So, things that we were going to be coming up with in the next few weeks while we're sitting at home. Um, and this week is a good week for me. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, honey, they was already closed up anyway. This Chicago rooftop bars close up in September here. You used to LA. September is there done. Um, so we're going to do my signature scent collection. That will include stunting on these hoes, my fragrances for stunting on these hoes. It will include dinner and dessert. It will include quite a few things. <laughs> right? It's going to include some things like that. Um, of course, we have to do the fragrance haul. The fragrance haul. I'm going to show y'all because I'm so excited. I just got to show y'all the most beautiful bottles. Michelle has seen them. I got to show y'all this beautiful bottle. Be right back. Hello, I'm back. Is this not just gorgeous? And look at the top. Bulgari makes really beautiful bottles. I know they're big and bulky and everything, but this baby is gorgeous. Is she not? Hello, lover. This is Tuberose Mystique. Oh, I got fingerprints all over. I'm sorry, baby. I'm showing you off wrong. I got you out here looking all like, she's looking a little dusty and shit. This is Tuberose's Mystique. She's a pretty tuberose. She's not too much. Now, and it doesn't have a magnetic cap because Bulgari doesn't do the magnetic cap because this really isn't that expensive. This is under $100 on uh, she's pretty. We will do a whole impression. I, I will give you all when I do the haul because I'm, I'm playing with these for the next few days. Um, I will 
go over them. I want to try Rouge Malachite too. I found a good price on it, but I'm trying to be good. I, I, I ain't got it right now. And it's on Afterpay. She is heavy, baby. So this is a this is a, this is a nice tuberose. Now I'll be honest with you. It's very similar to Velvet Vanilla by Mancera, but I think Velvet Vanilla is done a little bit strong. Is a little bit stronger, but it's Mancera. So I, this is a more, uh, uh, more um, toned down rose. This is a more toned down tube of rose, but I think it's gorgeous. And this damn bottle is just fucking stunning. I mean, this is this is. This is and I bought another one. Now, this one, I don't know. I got to work on it because I want to be in the smaller one. This is Splendida. This is oh, Magnolia Sensual. Let me spray her on something because this one is pretty. Um, and I'm going to wear it a few more times. But it's more citrusy. This one, Tuberose Mystique, is definitely more of a heavy, you know, cool weather fragrance it's um this one is really nice um this is citrusy so this is more of a spring this is more of a summer date night i have to say about the longevity but like i always tell you all i'm not the best with talking about the um how got jasmine noir it's okay on me um, I'm not the best with longevity because, you know, my body is very, very cool. And so fragrances just don't stay on me that long. You know, when people be talking about, oh, there was a beast, it was on for me 10, 12 hours, I might get six, seven hours best at best. And so I'm okay with that. Um, because I understand that I, I, my body is very cool. If you've ever, people who have known me and have been around me, my body is very cool to the touch. So like right now, my body is very cool. So I'm not one of those people who radiates heat. So fragrances on me don't last as long. I, and I'm okay with that. But this is very light. And when I've been wearing it, it's been so light. I don't know if it's going to radiate, if it's even, you know, something that smells good on me. But I like the smell of it. Oh my God, it's so cute. It is very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Um... Oh, but you know what we didn't talk about? I got a couple of new travel sprays. I'm waiting for another one to come, but that wench ain't here yet. So we're going to have a fig battle. Battle of the figs. I got about seven of them now. Maybe six. Six or seven. Five, six, something like that. I don't know. I got, I got five or six of them. That's all I, that's all I know. I, I got five or six of them. They're coming. So... We will have a fig battle because I had to get a couple of decants because I just wasn't going to pick up everything. So I did that. Now, what I have decanted for the ones that I got from Royalty Sense, since we're here talking fragrance. Um, and like I keep telling y'all, if y'all really like um, higher end and want to try higher end, but you, if you ain't trying to pay that price, it was Royalty Sense. Royalty Sense. I like Scentbox too. Scentbox has some good stuff, but I'm going to tell you, Scentbox is starting to do the shit that Scentbird used to do, which is cost stuff premium, which ain't that expensive. Like, you know, on the, on the aftermarket, fragrance net and all them, you can get them at a decent price. So I feel like you have to watch them a lot. Okay. So I'm just saying a Scentbox and Scentbird, you really have to watch them because they'll throw in some shit that you can buy a whole bottle for $40 and you getting this with $19.95. No, man, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Now I do like the fact that um, you can get the travel sprays on fragrance net now. So they have a whole section of travel sprays, so you can always check for those. But anyway, these are my royalty scents. This one is Athalia by Parfums de Marley. Because I am trying to decide what, what's my next Parfums de Marley going to be. So I heard about this one. And she is pretty. It's a really pretty scent. It's like a little powdery. Yes. Yes. I think, you know what I noticed, Joss, is um some of them, 
they'll start out with big cans and then they'll all of a sudden have the, the whole bottles. Because I tried Sunshine Woman. I think you tried it too, the uh, Amouage Sunshine Woman, which I want. Now they have the full bottle. So I think they have the full bottles and some of them they're testing out to see how popular they are and how, you know, is it worth them selling the full bottles or will they make more, you know, I don't know. So anyway, this is Athalia. And actually you can get this one pretty inexpensive. I found it at some good prices. Um, like under 200, like almost close to 100, um, fragrance buy I had it for real cheap, but it's a really powdery, this is like a really pretty summery scent. It's something about it that I like, but I have to check it because, um, I'm trying to check it for longevity because when you spend in that, um, oh, I saw, okay. So let me tell you, I looked at they scent burn little system. Mm -mm, theirs is terrible. Let me tell you what they're doing on theirs. They are, depending on what you buy, they add in more money for it. So say it's like one of the ones that are expensive, like what you want, like you want to try a Creed or something, oh, you're not getting that shit for $9.95. You get it for a pretty much the price that they charge for the travel spray. So you might as well just buy a damn travel spray and forget the whole little subscription bullshit. You know, um, really... The ones they're doing for like that $9.95 are the ones that I ain't going to buy anyway. I can just buy the damn stuff. But what they're doing um, is, yeah, because I looked at it and I was like, y'all crazy. So like say, for instance, if you get something that's like, if you want to get something, because you pick it out. But say you pick out something like that's uh, uh, Perfumes de Marley. They're going to up upcharge it like $20. For that one. So it's like 20 or like whatever, like $15. Some shit like that. I was like, what? So it's not just that. So if you pick out something that's expensive, oh, you're not getting it for cheap. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. And it's not even like, like, you know, like these places are $20. And then, you know, they got good shit. Mm -mm. None of them are going to be $20. The ones, that, the real expensive ones. So anyway, Athalia is gorgeous. She is very pretty. She's a very nice girly girl scent. Now, where this, where, where Delina has that um, sharpness to it and everything, this is more classical. But it has a, um, a moodiness to it. It's definitely kind of moody. Come on, what you want? What are you doing? Come on, live. You want to come in? Oh, okay. I see you in a little bit. I'll be back there. And then I got, because everybody told me to try this, and now I want this. I'm like, I'm, I can't afford it this year. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Um, Creed Virgin Island Water. Am I wearing anything now? I'm not. I think I'm going to put this on because this is such a happy fragrance. Everybody's been doing like comforting fragrance videos and happy fragrances. This is a happy fragrance. I didn't even think about this. This is truly a happy fragrance. This is coconut... Mm, this is like, you know, I'm going to be on the beach. It's Virgin Island water. It really is. It makes me feel like I'm on the beach hanging out. This is that hangout vibe. Yes, honey. It's got sugar. It's got, um, it doesn't have, it has rum in it. The dry down has sugar and rum in it. It's got a little citrus, got coconut. Mm. This is tropical. This is definitely, this is, this is, beach party fragrance this is definitely beach party you know going on those like you know tropical vacation this is the this is what i would carry i promise you if i was going on some tropical vacation you know leaving my house at some point or creating a tropical vacation in my house we go i'm gonna I'm have to get a green screen and it was so good so so good so so good i love it um and it i looked it up it wasn't that expensive i probably won't get it this year because I've lost my fucking mind, but I will get it by next um, summer. I will definitely get a full bottle of this by next summer. This is full bottle worthy to me. I mean, it's like, hello, hello. I just feel like I should be listening to some Calypso, some reggae. Man, I went old, didn't I, Calypso. Listening to some reggae, some reggaeton, being like, you know, hanging out with my, um, with my, uh, Trini friends. This, yeah, this is yes. This is for that green look with the with the green flower hoops. This is the fragrance for it. Hanging out with my Trini friends, you know, 
because trainees hang out. I don't know if y'all got some trainee friends. If you know some Trinidadians, some Caribbean folks, they partay. Man, I went to one of them parties. They wore me out. I had to leave because they was like in the basement selling rotis. Mm. Oh, it was so nice. It was so much fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so we still got so I'm working on my signature collection for you all. We're gonna go over the stuff I have. And then the big one that I have for you all. Okay, so only Coco and Michelle knows about this. So I'm just, I'm just, I just, I'm burning. You know, it's the day before my birthday. You know, we're going to hang out. We're going to hang out. We're going to hang out. They're trying to come back in your room. The cats are. I'm trying to, listen, we having a potty, we having a litter training issues up in my house with these little kids. I can't wait till they get, go to their new homes. Anyway. They cute, but they get on my nerves. Okay, so I low key, and I hadn't said anything about this, but we're we're, we're I'm unburdening myself right now. I feel like I need to unburden myself because I'm I'm almost at the, I'm almost there. I'm almost done with this whole project of mine. No, I did not. Remember, I did not get the one thing I didn't get was my Lancome Genifique. Cause remember it sold the fuck out so quickly. I woke up, the shit was gone. But and you know why I was gone? Because the stores aren't open. Because it normally I would have just ordered it and did a pickup of it. Yeah, so that's the one I did. And y'all know I love this deal. But I'm real bitter about that. Because if the stores were open, if we weren't in Rona, I'd have got it because it would have just been a pickup. You know, it just been like pick up. And I am bitter about that. She, Michelle is so, she's so right. I'm so bitter. So bitter. Okay, but anyway. So here is, what's the Lancome? Which Lancome? I got lots of Lancome. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of Lancome. <laughs> Which Lancome you need Kit Kat? Cause I, I, I were you talking about Ooh Bouquet or Roses Barbaranza? Exactly. Right. Oh, my Lancome. This is the Genifique. Yes. This is the Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I love this shit. I love this shit. But what I did get was my Paracone Cold Plasma Eye Cream because it was set, it was 30% off. So I got it for $70. So I got that and I got the um, Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum because I wanted that. I didn't get the Fab um, uh, Toner Pass because I was like, why are you doing that when you got all this glycolic toner in the house? You don't need to get it like that. You got, you got, you got the um, Shiseido Cottons and you, um, yeah, I know, but I couldn't afford them both. So I had to make a decision. So I went with that. So I went with, so I went with my, my eye cream and I did, um. Oh, so, okay, so Kitty Cat, let me let me say, you, you might have to go toward the back. Um, La Via Bell is on my overhyped list. And the reason why La Via Bell is on my overhyped list is because it's not that it's a, not a, a good fragrance, because it is. It's a nice fragrance, but damn it, you're going to smell yourself coming and going because that is one of the most popular fragrances in the entire world. So you will. So when people say this is a signature, don't never make yourself a signature fragrance out of something that everybody damn it wears. That would be killing me with that. Oh, this is a signature fragrance. I don't want to have my signature. My sing signature is supposed to be kind of unique. Now, that's not to say, oh my god it has to be but there's enough fragrances out there that you can find something that's a little unique that stands out for you and la via bell is pretty and i mean it's a beast you will people will smell you but they'll be like, oh you got that la via bell on i want us all i said that too flower bomb that was the other one that was another one that was another one flower bomb was on my overrated list Exactly. See, Kitty Cat? See what I'm saying? Because everybody knows La Via Bell because everybody wears it. 
listen, I've worn the Via Bell. And it's, shit smells great on me, you know? Right, <laughs> right. So that, that, that. So the, re the quick recap was that one, Good Girl, because I'm not a fan of Good Girl. Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Black Orchid by Tom Ford smells like baby aspirin on me. I'm just here to say it. it smells like baby aspirin. It smells like old. It smells like St. Joseph's baby aspirin. Now, when, now I'm telling y'all now, now that I said that, you're going to smell it. it. Smells like baby aspirin. Now I got to close my door a little bit because I cannot let them hear this whole confessional part I got going on. Okay, so let me get close for the confessional. So I haven't even really talked about it. I've never talked about it on my channel. So. <laughs> I have low-key been obsessing on Elizabeth Arden green tea. Doesn't that sound strange? But I have been. And I was like, look, and I said, wow, there's so many different iterations of it. And something about flankers intrigued me. And then, you know, you look at how much Elizabeth Arden is, well, you know how much you can get it for, and it became even more intriguing. So I've been low-key obsessing on them. And then the obsession went into, I should just get them all. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Oh, I should just get them all. And so I've been going back and forth with this whole little thing in my head. And then I think I got a little like depressed when I really figured out that my birthday, there was going to be no birthday and I wasn't going to be able to do, my friends weren't going to be able to come in town and we were going to have our little brunch and everything. And so then it became a deep and deep and desired obsession. Right? Okay. Is it buffering? Am I good? Am I back? Okay. So here's the deal. I have every green tea, but one. Part of my fragrance net order is a whole bunch of them. And then the ones I couldn't find, I went on eBay and found. I'm so sad about the brunch too, Tim. And I, um, there's only one that I don't have. Oh, okay. The one I'm missing is the one that's fucking ridiculous. It's called Green Tea Intense. And apparently, for some reason, this is like very discontinued, um, and the only reason why I don't have that one, Joshua, is because the price was ridiculous. It's one of those things where, oh my God, it's not around anymore. We're going to jack up the prices because everybody wants it. I don't know who, how many people want it. But I, I looked it up when I saw it. I said, oh, I'm missing this one. And it was over a hundred. Oh, thank you, kitty cat. It was over a hundred dollars. I was like, bitch, you crazy. For for um elizabeth t green tea elizabeth arden green tea oh you lost your damn mind um you have lost your rabbit ass man rabbit ass man if you think i'm paying 150 dollars for some elizabeth arden green tea i saw one for 200 dollars on ebay i was like y'all lost your fucking mind no that i'm no i want Okay, so how many am I talking about? Let me count the ones I have here already, and then I can add that to what I'm coming. I don't want to. I don't want to laugh. Exactly, kitty cat. So you want, you think, girl, please. Baby, back. Okay. 
Okay, so I have in, I have in here my little haul box bag. I have, let me see the ones I got here already. Three, four, five, six. So I got six. Oh, six. No, I got seven. I have seven right now. Yeah, yeah, they gonna have their own. They gonna have their own little lifestyle. There's 14 more coming. So I have seven here. And 14 more coming. 21. And I am in the process to get ready for this. Because I haven't smelled any of them. We're going to have a... I'm not going to smell any of them until we do the first impressions of them together. And I'm now writing down their notes and everything. Why do you think we call this the bathroom confessional? I'm telling y'all this happened. Hey, Londa. So, after Mother's Day, I'm not buying any more fragrance for a while. I'm going to hit, I'm gonna hit um, Ulta because they're probably going to have five times the points. And they're still giving me my, my birthday points to the end of May. So, I'm going to buy a few things from Ulta that I want to try. And that's it. I got to get off of this for a minute. I'm, I, I got to, I'm, I'm I'm, I have to, I got to, because I like stuff like this. I'll be like, ooh, let me get some more. Ooh, let me get some more. I'm going to do good. But you know what I'm really upset with myself? Hi, Tracy. You know what I'm upset with me, myself with 21 Days of Beauty? Is that I didn't buy all those damn Nabla highlighters. Those highlighters are gorgeous. I'm so mad I only bought three of them. I am so mad I only bought three of them now. I am in love with those damn things. Oh, my God. They're so... Yeah, it's really hard. I'm not even going to tell y'all how much. Wait until y'all see the hair care haul. Hair care haul kind of went out of control too. But I haven't, but okay, but in my defense, me too, Joshua. Um, when I buy hair care, I do try to buy, if I see a good sale, I buy a bunch of it. So then I don't have to buy any for a long time. So I have enough hair care. Girl, we, <laughs> 21 days of green tea. Um, so I don't have to buy any hair care for a while. I bought like three different, three or four different leave-in conditioners. I got, um, deep conditioners. And plus I, I make my own deep conditioners a lot. So if my hair don't look good, it's some, it's something wrong with me. Something is wrong with me. I'm just here to say that, which is not looking that great right now. But I just got all my stuff yesterday. Oh, the hair care haul is ridiculous. That'll be in the beauty hall. It's <laughs> the hair care halls. But I'm not, I mean, I, I honestly, <laughs> I probably don't have to buy any hair care for at least, probably till the end of the year. Probably till the end of the year, I should be good. Because I honestly, yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. Probably, I probably won't need anything at least for the next six, seven months. I've got so much shampoo. I've got so much conditioner. Yeah, yeah. You know, the only thing I might want to buy sometime is a little deep conditioner packets. You know, every once in a while I'll go to the beauty supply. Because I actually, I live right by the hood ones. Um, yeah, I got, uh, yeah, I, listen, I wanted that main choice stuff. When I went online, I was looking at it. Um, right um i got you v so we we're going we're going to work through this together we are going to we are going to work through this together okay 
Now, speaking of lotion, we always got a lot of lotion in my house, but I saw she has one, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm staying away. It's not even bothering me. I'm good. Londa, I know y'all all trying to like do that to me, but I just, I, I just don't have, I, I didn't, I didn't always spend every place else. Pat lost out. I know she wanted me to, to come, become part of her family. Mm, I, 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 I'll catch her around Christmas time. I'll catch her around Christmas time. Oh, I feel like a tropical paradise with my virgin, my virgin island water on. Yes, yes. I need some reggae music on. If I dance like that at a reggae club, they would laugh the hell out. They'd be like, what is wrong with her ass? But yeah, we're going to work through our anxiety together. We're going to push through together and, and just talk about things. So that's why I like the, the, we're going to do the lives. Now, once again, I'm having my Zoom birthday party tomorrow. If you would like to be a part of it, you need to send me a message so I can give you the, the meeting the room information and the password. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like Barbados, like Trinidad. Right. Yes, we will be there. We will be there or be square. Make sure you have your look together. Have your look. I might have to go lab just to get my look together because I'm trying to sign on my birthday look for my 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 party. You know one thing I will say we are we are trying to work it together, child. We are trying to work it together. If you look on my community tab, you will see how to contact me so you can get the information if you want to join in. Girl, but listen, I love Kimberly Clark's anti halls. However, he got a lot of when he came back. I haven't been watching him since he came back from when he was on tour because he got a little too preachy for me. Like his original anti halls were great, but then after he came back, he was like extra preachy, extra peachy, preachy. You know, I was like, dude, calm down. That's like, um. On my community tab if you go on um on my channel you'll see community look on the community tab and you'll see that um you know it's like i haven't seen anything recently but i know when he first came back from being on tour i saw a couple of things he did and i was like okay i, I can't watch you no more all right see, see you in a minute coco i was like i can't watch you no more you just you're just too much you're just too much you you just too much. Calm down. It, it, can, can we can we have a little? That's like um on IG makeup craze. Do any of y'all follow her on make on on IG makeup craze? Uh, yeah, she, yeah. She didn't talk about makeup anymore. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, and I get it. She's moved on to different you know subject matters and everything. And I was like, okay, yeah. Oh, the old anti hall. Yeah, yeah. I felt yeah. You know. Make Craze kind of does that on IG, but she's stupid. And I'm here to say that. You know, she she flip-flops. You know, it's one day she's telling you, don't buy, don't buy. But then she's talking about certain brands that she wants to kiss their ass. And like, oh my God, look at how beautiful this stuff is. Like, she loves Pat McGrath. She loves a few brands. And so she'll always be like, oh my God, look at what they have. Bizarre, you know, certain brands she like holds up. Right. And um and it was it's called makeup and it's C R A Y Z craze and and it's like girl so you know it's like and here's my thing with her especially like at least Kimberly Clark was very true to himself and everything else and he was and he that was his stance you know she flip flops and here's my other issue with that is that you try to have, you have a, a beauty channel you have a beauty you know IG page. So telling everybody, bashing everything and saying, oh, you're so stupid if you buy this. You don't need this. You don't need this. I, 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 I. Girl, calm down. Like one time she was talking about, and me and her got into it, about um, 
Juvia's place. Now, I, we know I ain't a huge, I am not a Chi Chi fan. I think Chi Chi's stupid and ignorant and she needs a, a handler. But her, her reasoning for talking about them was like, their, her, their, um, her eyeshadows are so pigmented. Why would you want them if you're, if you're fair skin like me? You know, if you're fair skin, you shouldn't buy Juvia's place because it's too pigmented. I was like, what? And I told her, I said, you can say that you ain't featuring Juvia's place because of how Chi Chi brand, the brand under Chi Chi's leadership. See you, Joss. See you. That's cool. But to say that fair skin, that, oh, you know, you shouldn't buy it because she's too pigmented and it's too bright of a color. Just because your little washed out, washed out, want to look like white bread ass don't want it. See, that's what I'm saying, Josh. Everybody wears. I said, to say that is ridiculous. I said, just because you don't wear those type of colors doesn't mean that it doesn't, that a person with fair skin can't wear them. Like anybody fair skin can't wear Juvia's Place. You sound stupid. And that's what me and her got into it. And she hates it when, and the thing about her is like, she hates it when you say anything contradictory to what she says. It's my page. And I'm going to say, well, okay, but here's my thing. If you come out and put some shit out here, people are going to say something. People are going to say something back to you. Get over yourself. She's going to get all of her little feelings. I'm gonna get, I mean, gets big mad. Everybody wears Juvia's Place. Who got Juvia's Place where it is? Nikki Tutorials. If it wasn't for Nikki Tutorials, Juvia's Place would still be a small brand. Juvia's Place did not blow up until Nikki Tutorials started talking about it. So to say that, oh, if you you can't wear it, if you're too... You're... Exactly. Most, most people just like shadow that works. And usually you want some pigment in your shadow. Who wants it to be washed out? So she got mad at me because I was like, you know, I said, that doesn't make sense. I basically told her, I said, you know, talk about her, talk about her, about something else. Talk about Chi Chi as a brand, as brand owner and how stupid she is. That's one thing. I'm going to go, yeah, she is. She's an idiot. But to say that, oh, her, her stuff is too pigmented and too bright. Girl, bye. That, but see, that, that tells you she's A, she's young, high in essence, she's young. And she's going to be one of those women who buys into the whole thing is like, I'm you, when you get older, you got to tone down. You can't wear bright colors. You can't, you have to tone down everything because then you, you're doing too much. You, you know, you're trying to be too young. She's one of those people. She's going to be an old age shamer. You know, she's going to be an age shamer. Like, oh my God, you know, that? did you see her with that red lipstick on? She 45. She shouldn't be wearing it. That's who she's going to be in life. Because she's going to be all dried up and looking tired. You know, she right? She's going to be a Gertie. She is going to be a Gertie. <laughs> a lot of these people don't know what Gertie means. <laughs> For the people who don't know. <laughs> There was a day that I was putting on, did I have the makeup on? Was I putting on the makeup? And there was a lady who came in, her name was Gertie, into the chat. And, and she told me, what she told me, she said that my red lipstick, I was looking like a street walker. <laughs> yeah, because Melissa loves Gertie. She said that my red lipstick made me look like a street walker. We cannot make this up. She got mad at her. She was hot in the chat. She was hot. She called me all kind of street walkers. <laughs> so, right. I look like a street walker with my red lips. My makeup looked like a street walker. I was looking like a street walker. <laughs> right. So, don't be a Gertie. <laughs> Don't be a Gertie. <laughs> Boo. Maybe maybe she got mad because what was it? Didn't y'all like mute her for a minute and we was laughing at her? And then she came back on, I was just trying to help you. <laughs> remember she got real mad because we, we was like, you gonna cover somebody your name is Gertie? 
Girl, come on now. You sound like somebody. She was so hot at us. She got so hot at us. And she came back in like, I was just trying to help you. You can look look like a street walk if you want to. <laughs> yeah, she just kept coming. She just kept coming. I, I miss Gertie. I miss Gertie. Gertie was good. Gertie was good. Right. I've never been so disrespected. Right. And it's okay to give your opinion. But it, <laughs> you know what? They have a problem with um, once you hit over 40, there's this belief that you must fade away. You must fade away. I don't think she was on that day because Coco was Coco used to, was coming in at that time, but I don't think she was on that live because Josh was in there. You know, you, you're supposed to fade away, and in order to you know not look older or 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 you know in order to, you know you need to mature. Yeah, yeah, we kept putting on the lipstick. Yeah, we kept trying on reds that night. You know, you must be mature and maturity means that, you know, you, you're, you're in a little more um, quiet. I always say it's like dimming your light. You must dim your light for people. You must be dim. You can't be bright and bold. Um, right. You can't be bright and bold or anything. You can't be none of that. You got to be dim and you got to you tone yourself down. You know, that's what, that's the way that society looks at us as women that oops sorry that as women we must tone ourselves down we can't be bold we can't be bright we can't wear this the clothes we want to because we're over 40 you know and that's just ridiculous you know where be who the fuck you want you know be who the fuck you want dress how you want live your life because guess what we've been here for a while Right. You know, we have been here. We have been here this long and we got things and we understand life and we should be able to live life the way we want to feel the way we want to dress the way we want to do all those things without letting people telling us that we can, you know, you know. Hi, hi. So live, live it the way you want to. And that's what is sad about people is that they allow people, but you know what it was? I think for Coco wasn't coming into the lives as early. Coco was, um, she, she was more of a watching the videos. She didn't start coming into the lives for a while. She would come in and out. She was, Coco was real quiet in the beginning. And then she, then she busted out. Now she Coco. Man, I got to put all these fragrances away. Oh, the, the. Yeah, yeah, it was around June of last year. It was around June of last year that she uh came that Gertie came through. Right? Well, I'm here to say what we know. What's, what birthday is this of mine? What birthday of this is mine? Ta -ba -ta birthday of this is mine. Cha cha cha. Can I speak? Can I speak, y'all? <sighs> Who that was right exactly v be as bright as you want to be i'm about to be 53 so i think i have to come live on here first tomorrow so i can put on my face so i think i'm gonna go with uh, Lulu pink. I don't know though because that tropical look was so cute yes like the other day. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I don't know. I gotta figure it out, y'all. I got to figure it out. But I think I don't know. We might go with pink. 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 Who knows? We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But anyway, let me get off of here. I need to eat some dinner. Let me have some dinner. What do you? Oh, before I go, what are y'all having for dinner? What do you have? Thank you, Kitty Cat. You know what? I had to. And here's what we we're we're, we're having. 
Right, pink eagles loop. Um, what we have to do during this time is adjust. You know, yes, I have plans. Yes, I, I, you know, today I wouldn't even been on here. Um, yes, um, did a mukbang. Oh shit! Um, but we have had to adjust and figure out ways to have fun and and you know shredded beast enchiladas. <laughs> Uh, and and enjoy ourselves and connect in different ways. And I really do like I really do like that people are, you know, connecting and using technology so that we still see each other. You know, Zoom is off the chain now. You know, um, ooh, crab stuffed salmon, green beans, brown rice, baked chicken. Oh shit! Let me look. I'm listen. I'm probably gonna have cheese and crackers today. Um, but we are using technology in a way that we're still staying connected and still being able to reach out to each other. So I think that's really important. And I think that you, we have to adjust, right? You know, I would deep fried pickles, you know, so, you know, figure out the things that can help you through it, find meditations, whatever it takes to help you get through this time, because we're going to make it through. We're going to make it through, but we just got to make sure we're sane and through. Ooh, spicy spaghetti. So, so that's why I'm, you know, really getting into using the technology, uh, you know, and, and reaching out and, you know, and this will be awesome because I will be able to see y'all faces because y'all see me. Oh, I have had fried pickles. I like them. Oh, girl, please. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm a, but I'm a, I really like fried green tomatoes. That's my shit. Well, yeah, I'm now going to have to use Zoom with students. I got to use Zoom for the students. But, you know, so Zoom is, you know, going to have me seeing all y'all faces because y'all look at me all the time. I need to see some of y'all. I'm going to be like this. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, okay. Oh, I, that reminds me. I got to do, do my taxes so I can actually get a Rona check. Schoolology. Um, Zoom does have a free section, but I've actually paid for Zoom um, because I wanted to be able to have um, a longer Zoom. So I can have up to 100 participants, but I can do it for um, longer. Yes, I'm a teacher. Yes, Kitty Cat. I teach uh, freshman algebra, which I have actually started doing. I have a YouTube channel for them. Oh, uh, I actually didn't wash it yet. Um, what I did was I just, um, I have that stuff that I bought. It was, um, I wet it and I put, um, and I braided it down with some uh, set setting stuff. That's it. Ooh, red pepper remoulade. That sounds good. Um, and the thing is, I cannot make fried green tomatoes. Hey, B. Hold on, I want to see if she tell y'all something. Before I go, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. B, you done? Oh, pre-K. Ooh, you good, because I can't. Little babies. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. I can't do little babies. Give me a high schooler that I can cuss out. Give me a high schooler that I can cuss out. Oh, yeah, I can't make a... Now, my friend Donnie, y'all y'all met my best friend Donnie. Some of you, she came on here a long time ago. She needs to come back on. Uh, no, no. Donnie makes the fried green tomatoes. No. Hey, B. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, I'll have her come on and, and talk again. She she want to hang out with y'all soon, okay? Donnie's okay. No, Don, no, but babies come up, go home and tell their parents. See, the, the mm -mm, mm -mm. babies go home. Miss, he said this. Miss, can you wait to say this? Says, no, I can't talk to them the way I talk to freshmen, to high school students. No, I cannot. See, I like, mm-mm. Thank you. Mm -mm. I like high school students because I'd be like, you know what? 
don't make me fuck you up. See that when I get in their ear, don't make me fuck you up because you're irritating me. You need to stop acting like this. See, I can talk to them like that. I can't talk to no little kids like that. They go home and tell them. The high schoolers be like, this is so funny. Girl, let me tell you something. The stupidest thing I heard recently. We have a certain teacher in the school and she's like, really like, She's not quite all there sometimes. You know what I'm saying? She just, she's just tries too hard and she's just like really overwhelmed. And the kids work her nerves because she is not that person. Um, I miss my assholes. I do. I told them I do. Oh, well, speak of that, I got to do something. Um, and so she's like one of them types that they like run over her all the time. Just drive her crazy. Apparently one day she kind of cussed at a student. He walks out because he's a jackass. Um, and he's like, I'm going to tell on you. And when, now mind you, so what? Because um, he's one of those kids, right? So he goes out and just so happens the principal is walking by. I heard the story was. Now, and she walks out. She's like, now mind you, first off, he wasn't going to tell. Because he's just messing with her, right? Because he knew it would upset her. Because I'd have been like, go tell. You know, the difference is, you tell me, I'm going to walk out and go tell him and say, go tell. Gone. What? See, that's me. That's my response, right? Her response is, oh, my God, I can't believe I cursed at him. So the prince was walking by. So before he could say anything, she tells on herself, I just, I just cursed at him. So she had to write up. Let me tell you something I've always told kids. Ain't no... I have told kids in their face. I said, you know what? They know me better than you. And they gonna believe me more than you. Right. Snitched on her own damn self. I wish it... I said, and if you go out there and say I said something, I'm gonna say, that's a lie. You know me, I don't talk like that. And they're going to believe me. I just tell kids that all the time. They be like, you are insane. Go tell them I said something. <laughs> okay. Hey, Kim. I was like, what is wrong with you? I mean, as much as I cuss out kids, man, they'd have fired me a long time. As much as most of us cuss out these kids. Let's just be real. I, I work in an urban school. These kids respect you when you curse their asses out. Tough love, damn it. Tough love. Right. And, and listen, and they appreciate it because the, the student in, in particular, he does not act like that in my class. Because when he tries, I was standing, I've, I've looked at him like, what? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Right. What you gonna do? <laughs> you know, we be having him in point, on point in my class. I'm like, what? Suck it up, buttercup. You better get it together because I ain't listening to this mess today or tomorrow or no, or no days. And he'd be like, okay, Missy. But she's like, and we're about the same age. She'd be like, oh my God. But she, I, I honestly believe she needs to be teaching pre-k kindergarten because she's got that pre-k kindergarten vibe she is not made for high school students at all she needs to be um i taught i used to substitute teach for years and this is my first time actually taking a real uh assignment so being so i've been teaching at this particular school for two years i worked in another school district for over 10 um but i would always uh I would only work long term something. So I never so this is my first. But let me say this. See, God said, Louise, settle your ass down. Stop acting like you can't work in a school. Cause I've never really liked the politics of, of education. I never wanted to be under the thumb of administration, but you know, I'm cool because I'm actually in a space where my administrators are very supportive and very good. But I was thinking about that today. I was like, wow, I feel for the substitute teachers because the substitute teachers are not getting paid right now. You know what I'm saying? And they are such a vital part of, of schools. But when school is out like this, um, they're, they, they, they're not getting paid. Um, quitting pre Bruno. Oh. 
Oh, this one girl. Oh, she had put in her, her, and I bet you her school ain't in, so she probably ain't getting paid. Um, see you, Kim. See you. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So yeah, so I've always wanted the freedom to like not work when I didn't feel like it, but. I decided, you know, okay, go ahead and work at this school. You know, you you like the school. You in the, and one of, and I'm gonna tell you part of the reason why is because I'm in the city and it was just easier to be able to go to one school, one place. That was it. So I was cool, you know. And then I and I like the person I work with and everything. So it was like, but I was thinking about that. I was like, they ain't getting paid. You know, this is they. You know. Usually as a substitute teacher, you know, okay, I'm not getting paid this summer that you work, you know, you make sure you have your money for the summer. Uh, um, right, exactly, you know, and so I was thinking about that. I was like, I feel for her, but those, you know, because that could have been me. And this is like, you know, we make money until the end of June. And then usually you go back in August, you know, normally schools are starting back in August and I, I never not work from the first day of school. Normally, when I have been as a long term as a substitute teacher, I've always began school in a position. Um, yeah, exactly. And so when she offered me the job last year, I was going back and forth because I was like, I don't know if I want to work here anymore and everything. But then some say, go ahead, take the job, you know, take this job. You know, you like it here. It's not far from your house. It's easy to get to. You know, I thought about all those things and I was like, take the job. And I'm so glad I did because right now I'm still getting a check, you know, so I can, I have no complaints right now. And so I, I will say that I, that's, I'm grateful for that because I could, um, I could not be getting paid right now. And that would have been very bad for my, you know, finances, but I am getting paid. And so I'm still okay. And I'm unfortunately still shopping, um, but Hey, I'm able to, and that, and there's the difference. Excuse me. So that's the kind of things that like when you sit back and think about things, think about where you're sitting right now and what you have that you can be grateful for and what you should be feeling gratitude for. Because I do. Um, yeah, um, I am grateful that I did, you know, finally decide to step in and I could have been like working for like my friend because I was working for my friend. Uh, man, it should, really would have. And he probably would have laid me off and I was working for him. Um, I wasn't, you know, on the payroll, payroll, right? Baby, don't it? And so I am grateful that I made that move, you know, because I was working. Remember when I first started on YouTube, I was working for my friend. Remember, I went through the thing where I was like, I'm going to wind up quitting here. Remember? Yeah, I remember that he was stressing me out. It was like a really bad working situation. And then I went back to subbing until I figured out what I was going to do. And then just so happened, I wound up there and now I'm here and I'm cool. And I'm, and I'm glad for that. Right. Exactly. Right, Coco. Because now your family is there. You don't have to worry about things. You know, you don't have to worry about him being out in the streets and everything. You don't have to worry about all that right now. So it kind of works for you, even though you don't want him that way, but it is kind of helping right now. All right, y'all. So we had a moment. We've, we've played with fragrances. I've had my bathroom confessional with you all. It's been a good, is it my usual two hours? Two hours and two minutes. So it was good seeing you all as usual. That's why, you know what? That's why I can't be a perfume YouTuber because I do, um, I do these long ass live streams. If people be like, oh my God, I cannot watch her for this long. I don't care. We still have fun. They don't know what they missing. Right, right. You secured that bag before. Girl, see, that's what I'm saying, Michelle, because think about where you would have been pre-securing that bag so you know you you might have to we don't know what's gonna happen for good but you got you know you okay for now all right child let's go let's go let me go get some food i think i'm gonna have cheese and crackers for dinner and some olives because i got some olives i got some olives all right child y'all have a great day night great evening because it's what seven o'clock Y'all have a great evening. See y'all tomorrow. Thank you for the happy early birthday. I appreciate it. See you later.